Boxing on Channel 5. Defending his name, his legacy, Harlem Eubank. Battling his way up the super lightweight rankings. Can he remain undefeated? Big Fight Live, Eubank versus Uruskieta, Friday at 10 on Channel 5. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Wow, it's been a minute, Lewis Crocker. I mean, it's been over two two years since I, I wasn't the last to hold the last fight. But I think it was the one before that that I was at. So it's been a it's been a while, man. How's things been? Good, mate. All all good. Looking forward to getting back out and fighting again. You know what I mean? Getting back out in the routine. Um, obviously fighting April twenty first. Hopefully back out May and possibly June again. So good to get the ball rolling again. Well, that's it. It's been two years since you, you, you've stepped foot in that ring. It's been a long time for any fighter to stay out the ring for two years. It must be a frustrating time for you. Now, people must be wondering why you're here in Scotland and how you're here that I'm talking to you. But you've teamed up with Billy Nelson right now. You're in Billy Nelson's gym in Green Gears. You've got big Mark Bacoli, Nick Campbell, young Ryan Clark here. Do you know what I mean? You've got some good fighters. Um, so, easy decision to come over to Scotland and obviously take the distractions of Belfast away and come here and just solely focus on your boxing. 100%, you know, the, the plan was to always move uh, across the water, uh, get the right train, and obviously stay out of Belfast, you know, because you get caught up a lot of things and all, you might be as dedicated, so, um, yeah, once the, the talks of Billy Nelson came up, do you know what I mean, it jumped at it and everything's been going class so far, do you know what I mean, wonderful coach, wonderful genuine human being as well, so very oh. happy over here. <laughs> well, wonderful coach, the last bit we'll scratch from the record, <laughs> alright? Good guy, good guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, you've been here, what, two days now? Um, how's it been? Obviously, it's still fresh. You've only been in here two, two or three training sessions so far. But how's it been? Good, mate. Um, even like from Wednesday to the day, you know, we're gelling it a lot better as well. Um, starting to pick up things uh, a lot quicker. So you know, by the time, like, yeah, obviously May comes and stuff, you know, uh, it should be a completely different fighter and a better fighter. I'm looking forward to putting on good performances. I mean, you're back out in. Uh, what was it, April there, end of April in Galway. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, great card there. Then you're hopefully back out in May and June. So you want to be active as possible because when you were active two years ago, you were knocking a lot of people out. You've got a good knockout ratio. You're in that division, that welterweight division, which was, again, we've spoke before, stacked with talent and your Connor Benz and your Ma uh, Michael McKinson's and all the rest of them, Chris Congo's, Echo uh, Usherman's. You were there or thereabouts. You were creeping up and obviously the frustrating of two years' time. So is this a, now a time to... Get as many fights under your belt, climb them rankings, and make assault for titles. Maybe tail end of the year, beginning of next year. Hundred percent. By end of the year, you know, I will plan to have at least one or two new titles around my waist. And like the names you just mentioned, you know what I mean? They're they're like three, four years, five years older than me as well. You know what I mean? And I've had fourteen fights, and I just tw turned twenty six this year. So you know, I've got time, and I'm in the, in the right camp and stuff now. So but I'm, I'm guaranteed by end of the year I'll have a new belt. What is the sort of goal for you? Is it the, obviously we spoke about that British title and fighting these big names? Because uh, outside the heavyweight division with these two units over there, the welterweight division is classified as the money division. I mean, you had back in the day, you've had your Floyd Mayweather's, your Pacquiao's. Now you've got your Terence Crawfords and your your Earl Spences, and you've got your Virgil Ortiz's. You've got your Durin Boots Ennis. Yeah. So it's a dangerous division and it's a stacked division that domestically here in the UK and it worldwide. And it's probably the money division outside of the heavyweights. Mm -hmm. So, what is the ultimate goal for you coming into the tournament this year? Is it that sort of British title and then sort of push on for these world honours? Yeah, I would love to get the British title. So weird, it was always a, a goal and a dream of mine, um, and I don't see why I couldn't get this year. Um, and then obviously push on towards world level. You know, I had like a, I was seven for WBO at one stage when I, my last defense and stuff. So I'm there about. Do you know what I mean? I'm only going to get better, stronger. You know, get my man strength as well now. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the, the years to come. I'm guessing you. I said to you uh, when I first saw you there in the ring. I said. Uh, you don't look like you put any weight on after two years out, so you're still stick <laughs> you're sticking in, you're sticking around one four seven. I was definitely sticking around one four seven. You know, on that move from that, like um, I made one four seven quite comfortable, like so. Um, I blew up over Christmas now, but it doesn't take long to come off. Yeah, definitely. Now I remember we had a good conversation, interviews. Maybe you can go back to our interviews that we spoke. We spoke about that mm -hmm. Conor Ben fight. Now I'll probably be remiss. I mean, to talk, not talk about, but Conor Ben's situation and him being in your your sort of division. What were your thoughts on all that? Yeah, to be honest, Conor Brown's always spoke highly of me in any interviews and stuff, so I wouldn't discredit him or give him disrespect, you know what I mean, because I'm not about that, like, so, you know, wish him all the best and that's it. Again, you just teamed up with Billy Nelson here. Oh, big man, Bacoli, <laughs> doing my work for him on the camera. Um, yeah, you, you teamed up with Billy Nelson and obviously it's a nice compact gym here, it's a, it's a good environment. I mean, the heating's been on since fucking six o'clock this morning, I'm actually sweating my nuts off here. <laughs> but, sort of like, you, you spoke about you gelled with Billy in... Uh, the last three days. So what does that mean to you have a coach that you can gel with so quickly and so thing? Is that going to be good for obviously going into a fight? 100%, you know what I mean? Like we're, 
work well. Obviously, I'm a pressure fitter, and you know, he's shown me things already that I've picked up on. And I just, I know I'm going to be the best version of myself when I, when I get in there. And after a couple of fights, obviously, I'm going to be a completely different fighter. And I know I'm a dangerous fighter. I'm with Billy in my corner and, and coach me. I know I'm, I'm going to achieve great things. Well, you've got that knockout ratio when you're, uh, you just need to go and box strike and see your, your knockout percentage. So, obviously, going forward, do you, do you want to make statements in these three fights coming up if you do get out in May and June time to say that, listen, I was gone for two years, mm -hmm. but don't forget about me. I'm still here. Well, the power stuff hasn't gone like, you know what I mean? Like, as, as long as I've been inactive, like, but. Do you know, I had three fights fall through last year, like so I was still in camp and, and everything else, like. But um, yeah, I always go for the knockout, obviously. But I think like the next two fights are just sort of get me back in. Do you know what I mean? It's not like I'm going to look for I'll go rushing, like. But uh, I always know I have a, that danger. One final one for me, then. Obviously, you've been in Scotland what three three days. How you find it? I mean, green gears. Don't take. Don't look at green gears, <laughs> please. Don't look at green gears and think this is Scotland. Scotland's a, an alright country if you just go outside the green gears. Yeah, I love it. I love it. You know, I've never been to Scotland before, like so. Yeah, um, everything's great here. All the boys in the gym and, and Billy, everything's going well, mate. So I'm I'm delighted to be here. Listen, Lewis, I'm in this gym probably once a month, so mm. you'll see loads of me in this camera yeah, being in your face. Yeah, so listen, yeah, well done, Lewis. I'll see you soon, mate. Thank you, mate. Thanks, mate. Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut, shut up, Barry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 